Hey everybody, welcome. I'm going to go over a technique that is new to Reason 7, uh, and that is the ability to create Rex files right within Reason. So if you don't know what a Rex file is, Rex file is, I don't know, top five great things to happen in the music industry of all time. Um, depending on how you work and you know what you do. Uh, Rex files are created by a program called Recycle, which was released by Propeller Heads in 1994. That program is almost old enough to drink in California. That is quite a thought. That is rarefied air in itself that Propeller Heads has been, uh, been around that long and is still thriving and probably doing better than they ever have in the past. So when Recycle came out, it took care of a problem that a lot of us had when we worked with samples. And the truth about samples, when you load a sample, a bit of audio, into a sampler, when you play it higher up on the keyboard than its original pitch, it is faster in pitch and it is higher in frequency. And if you go down the keyboard, it is lower and slower. So you cannot separate tempo and pitch. And from somebody myself that actually did a fair amount of sampling uh, for hip hop back in the 90s, this was always something that got us. And I I remember when Recycle came out and it was a game changer. So Recycle would analyze a file. You would give it some basic uh, parameters, uh, you know, how many bars and beats, uh, just a little bit of setup. Uh, and then you it would analyze it. You would set sensitivity. And if this sounds familiar, every other program on the planet has snaked this technology. Uh, even so much so they'll say, well, this is a Recycle-like function we've built in into our program. Um, so you would, sense, you would give it a sensitivity level that would then look at the transients and eventually cut that audio file into slices on the transient. So the biggest power of this might have been the simplicity. You know, a lot of times people say some of the greatest ideas are the most simple ones. And, you know, this truly was because at this point we could move slices further apart, slow down the tempo, move slices closer together to speed it up and not change the tempo. There is a, uh, or the pitch, there is a pitch function in Recycle if you wanted to use it, but they were not connected for the first time. So Every program, I believe, I think it's like 23 programs, supports the import of Rex files, the use of Rex files. It's a valid audio file type. And the magic of that Rex file in almost any DAW is that it can flex with a tempo change, right? So it's audio, but it acts like MIDI. Pretty cool stuff, been around. You probably know very well what a Rex file is. So Reason, because made by Propeller Heads, same company that made Recycle, has always had uh, one of the best utilizations of Rex files, and that is the Dr. Octo, the new version of it, uh, the Rex player or the Octorex. Uh, because they're the company behind it, of course, the way that Rex files can be used in Reason, I think, you know, are way better than any other program. And it's like I said, it's not that you can't use them in other programs. It's just, duh, it's just home base for this file. Um, so other videos that we've done have, you know, how to really use the Rex player. So that's not really what we're looking at today. Uh, and you can search for those. And I know Propellerhead's website has some of that as well. Um, but this is what's changed in Reason 7. Propeller heads baked in the ability to make a Rex file right in Reason. So you no longer need Recycle to make a Rex file. Remember that the magic is, the power is, that it separates tempo from pitch in an audio file, and it means it will respond to tempo changes um, with your master BPM. So you've got a guitarist plays a guitar part in. Um, you think, yeah, that's really cool, but I want to go ahead and, you know, I'm going to change the tempo from what it was recorded at. Well, you know, most programs, honestly, these days have flex, have warping, have elastic audio. All these are math or algorithms that go on the audio, and it does affect the audio quality. Certain programs, it affects it more than others, if you know what I'm saying, not going to mention any, um, but it's an algorithm. Rexing, recycling, and a little love to uh, Beat Detective and Pro Tools, those are uh, uh, ways that we can actually slice up the audio into little bits and then move them closer, further apart, edit them, change them, do whatever you want, but it does not affect the audio quality. So Rexing, Beat detective ing if there's such a word, are ways that you can keep 100% fidelity of the audio. One day, algorithms will probably be as good and maybe even better, and they're certainly quicker uh, in some ways. But, you know, just to throw it out there, anytime you quantize audio 
or you warp it or do whatever, uh, you are affecting the quality. And I know that some of you have heard this before, uh, actually hearing the quality be diminished. So Rex is a great tool to be able to use for this, but it also gives you the ability uh, when you put a Rex file to a track to get the individual slices and have your way with them. So you can remix a loop of audio, no problem, because each part of the sound or each sound is one slice and you have the ability to do what you want with it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that Rex Prayer real quickly, and we're going to go ahead and make one. So I have a little bit of a, a drum beat with a, a redrum going on here. Right, so it's MIDI, um, and most of the time, you know, if we think, ah, it's MIDI, why would you even turn it to audio? I'm kind of doing it just so we can see the process uh, without recording a guitar, but I also think making a Rex file out of anything is cool. If I could make a Rex file out of my espresso machine, I would probably do it. Um, so the way that we turn MIDI into audio in Reason is thus. We find the device we want to record, we open up the mix channel device from this view to this view, and we hit record source. This basically means we can now record from this mix channel to an audio track. We go back to the sequencer. I have an audio track here that's just Command T and Reason. And I set my I.O. right here. So I'm going to tell it stereo. And now it sees that if I had not hit record source on Redrum, this would not be, uh, be available. So I choose that. I'm going to record enable it. I don't want to record over my MIDI part. So basically, I'm just going to make audio real quickly. All right, so there is my printed audio. I'm going to go ahead and mute the redrum. I'm going to double click and zoom in just a little bit. This is another great thing about uh, Reason, and, and uh, I think we've done some videos about this, that um, everything, when you record audio in 7, everything is auto-sliced, right? That also gives me the ability that I don't need right now because those drums are pretty tight, that I can hit Command-A, and that's going to select all of those slices and I can hit command K and that's going to quantize that so the ability to quantize audio once again using math does exist in reason and I have to say it's one of the best programs it's algorithms it's math um, is really 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 good those Swedes know their math um, all right, so I don't want to do that, but this gets me to what I want to do, which is right click. So that was a double click. Let me go back out of that. So that was a double click. Get to this view. Um, go ahead and right click and go bounce. And now, only because I did that double click from uh, the first window, do I get bounce clip to Rex loop. Now, the tool window up in the top right, watch what happens. Immediately, it sees print, which is what I call that audio. I can hit the disclosure triangle, and we should see a bunch of slices. So that's just what Rex's look like with inside their file type. And I'm going to double click this. That's going to auto create a Rex player and we're going to hit run. And there it is. And if we hit this disclosure triangle, we will see the editor and there's all those slices. So from that original drum machine pattern, it is now audio, it is now a Rex file. And of course, slice edit mode, which is just awesome, gives me some great abilities. Right, so each slice has uh, parameters that you can control. So not just the whole file, each individual slice. So right there, worth the price of admission. I love the OctoRex and I love that slice edit mode. Remember that it has to be turned on. Now I can go a step further and I can hit copy loop to track. We go back F7 to the sequencer and there is the Rex file. So I'm gonna mute now my print audio track and here's what it looks like to track I can scroll up and see it um, one of the things I hit if you noticed when I was in the Rex player was alt you get four different alt groups and what it means is it's going to randomize each of those slices as you play well we actually see that physically manifested in the sequencer here's the, the randomized parts otherwise you know Rex files have kind of that universal 45 degree angle each slice represents one sound 
I can actually play it from my keyboard if I'm targeted on that. Uh, so Rex can be targeted from the keyboard. You can play it, you can replay it. I could go in at this point now though, and I can quantize, I can move around, I can delete. Once I get those individual slices to a Rex track, I can do whatever I want. So if I go back to the Rex player, I do have to turn on uh, the ability for the velocity to take hold. It defaults with the amp at zero, so this will actually give me velocity. I can go back in here now and I can take my pencil tool and I can kind of draw in some other velocities. Of course, if we're really working, we take a little bit more time and we get, um, and before I play it, I actually remember my manners, which is turning off the loop playback. Otherwise, we will target the same material from two destinations and we will phase, and it is not a pretty sound. And there it is. So in Reason, we can now make our own Rex files from audio, um, vocals, guitars, anything rhythmic. It's always easier to make Rex files out of something with defined transients. So rhythm guitars, vocals, acapellas for remixing, um, so many things. Um, it does not have every feature that the actual program recycle has, but uh, it's a blast to work with Rex files, uh, slice, dice, cut up, do whatever you want with them. So hopefully this will help with your production, and I will see See you soon. Very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool, and until I came here for the first time, I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do, and especially in electronic music. Since since coming to Pyramind, I, I've discovered electronic music, and you know, San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail. We, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more. And that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music. Um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really helped me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.